Hey, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, just got a public service announcement here for any owners of uh, Ford Escape products, or if you're working on Ford Escape, don't forget to look at the brake hoses. You know, the flexible brake hoses on these, I don't know if it's as much a design issue in the uh, movement of the steering and suspension components where it creates uh, flexing and general failure of the brake hoses, cracking and failure due to, I don't know, fatigue, materials used. I don't know what the deal is, but these suckers are always bad. It seems like at least half the escapes that come in, if I haven't worked on them before, they need brake hoses. Or they're coming in on the hook and their brake hoses are broken. And that's not good. Check this out. Here's what you get on the front brake hoses. Um, right here, uh, at just above the mount on the strut, where the brake hose goes up and over to the to the frame of the car. So that movement there is for the turning of the wheel. And my suspicion is, well, and there's also on this one, there's also some cracking right where it goes into that mount on the body of the car. And then you go to the rear and you can see where it's getting ready to fail where it where the hose enters the the body of the car goes up on the steel. So yeah, the, the hoses are a, a two part or a two layer hose and that outer layer is is kind of a protective layer that protects the inner layer. However, I, you know, I've seen them like this and and they're they're just ready to go. Um, it's not it's not long. Not long for this world. And you know, brakes, you don't really need brakes until a moose jumps out in front of your car. Then you need your brakes and you need them to work as designed. And that's where hydraulic system failures you know, from cracked hoses or or uh, worn brake components, that's when the rubber meets the road, so to speak, with your braking system, and that's typically when the failure occurs, and that's when you die. So uh, you got a Ford Escape? Check them hoses. Service them if they need be. Do them all. Um, if you got two or three that are cracked, just replace them all, and then you'll have years of trouble-free service and a peace of mind knowing that you and your family are gonna be safe and others on the road. Okay, I thought I'd continue this video and show you how to service the hoses on these. It's actually pretty simple, um, but with any braking system uh, repairs, you wanna make sure you're qualified to do the work, that you follow manufacturer's guidelines, and uh, you need to know that car doctor's not responsible if you screw something up. Hey, it's just a video, it's just for entertainment, and uh, I'm just trying to help. But I think uh, most competent guys can do this repair and do it pretty quickly. Uh, so anyway, uh, first you wanna loosen the, the steel line fitting uh, going into the frame of the car. And uh, that's, a uh, that's a half inch actually. And then I remove this little retainer clip that retains the rubber hose to the bracket, support bracket, and then I drop that and lose it, uh, and remove this retainer off the strut bracket, and that releases the hose from the vehicle side, and then uh, wanna, I've got a 14 millimeter here, and uh, the, the, the end of the hose at the caliper is threaded into the caliper. First thing you want to do is clean this area really good so that when you remove it, you don't get dirt into your system. And then loosen it. And there you go. Okay. Another thing, uh, brake fluid is water soluble. So if you spill some or or whatnot, you want to just wash it down with water. You don't want to get it on the paint of your vehicle or any of the plastic body components, or it will just it'll just remove your paint and rust and 
and uh, it, it won't be good. It's bad. Let's go to the rear and show how we remove those. I'm still waiting for parts, otherwise I'd just throw this one on, but we'll go to the back and just show you. It's a similar deal here. So I'll start with the upper line. Just remove this. You know, I'm in a pretty much rust-free zone, and I don't have to deal with the rust that some of you guys down on the in the rust belt along the east coast in areas where road salt is used. And I I consider myself very fortunate. Um, you want to be real careful if you're dealing with a, a highly corroded brake system and uh, you know you may need to replace some some lines along the way just to service these but that's obviously not the case here as everything's coming off very nicely aren't you jealous There's a lot of guys that are jealous a lot of people are going to move to alaska after this video I'm actually working for the tourist industry and uh, they want to get more people up here. So uh, this is one way we're doing it. Okay, I got that loose. I'll go ahead and pop the, bra the little retainer clip off the bracket. Now, I release that. It's the same thing, I go down to the front and remove the line attaching the hose to the bracket here. So I believe the front hoses are the same, whether you're working with the right or left. However, the rear hoses are different for the right and left. It's a different part number, and it's slightly different. I'll make sure that you're dealing with the right side. It's gonna be a little bit different the way it lines up with the bracket. it will look almost identical in size and length. So be sure to pay attention to which side is which. You can go by the part number. Or you can compare the hoses on the ends to make that determination as well. Okay. Just keeps going and going. Somebody give me a break, hose. All right, pull this bracket clip, retainer dealy dooter off the back here. There you go. One rear hose. So I'm going to wait and get some parts, but I think it's pretty straightforward from here. On the front, you want to make sure and thread the hose into the caliper first and tighten that up properly and then thread the line, uh, the hose through the brackets. And finally, after installing all your retainers, uh, go ahead and thread the uh, steel line on. Uh, up to the body there. Make sure you don't cross your threads. Make sure you don't get dirt in there. You know, if you're doing this job, it's a good idea to acquire some brake parts cleaner. You know, it's a it's $3 part. 
for a can of that and it's good to spray off these lines and connections and whatnot to get the dirt off the brackets and whatnot so it doesn't fall into your brake lines and contaminate that and then simply after you're done you're gonna want to bleed the system that's probably a different video where we'll cover that procedure uh, basically uh, in this case have an assistant in the vehicle and I start on the right rear and go to the left rear and right front left front and uh, although it probably calls for an ABS system bleed process I don't typically run into uh, the need of using my scan tool to do an ABS auto bleed sequence on this particular car. I'm not advocating that you do that, but I haven't run into that problem with these. They seem to bleed out well just using a, a standard bleeding procedure. And uh, you'll know if you have a spongy pedal or something like that, that you haven't got all the air out. And uh, definitely a spongy pedal or some, some air in your system or any type of leakage along the uh, hose connections is going to create a safety problem and a potential loss of hydraulic brake system pressure. Be sure you go around afterwards and take some of your brake parts cleaner, clean all that brake fluid off of there or use a hose or whatnot and dry things off and apply the brakes steadily. Make sure the pedal doesn't gradually fall or anything like that and then go around and check for leaks and you should be good to go. All right. Well, I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks for stopping by the Car Doctor Studios. Thanks for subscribing and liking our videos. Appreciate that, too. I enjoy doing this, and I appreciate all the support I get from my viewers. <coughs> Makes me happy to do this. Thanks for uh, the thumbs up. Thumbs down, not so good. Thumbs down, keep me up at night. Makes me think, man, they don't, don't like me. All right. Blessings, guys. Take care.